president of Insurance Circle Agency, Dave Rice. Hi, Dave. Hello. Hey, good morning, Dave. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. It's great uh, to be here. If Dave uh, looks somewhat familiar to our viewers, he's also the father of JTV's own David Rice. I, I am, and very proud father. You guys, yes. yeah. Look at, look at yeah, this. Yeah. There it is. So you had an opportunity uh, at the Western game for your son to interview you. I, I got to ask you, what was that like? Oh, uh, surreal. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, what? Just get a little choked up. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Super he, cool. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah. Dave, of course, has been with us since he was uh, 12. And uh, he's talking <laughs> yeah, in my 13, ear. 13, right? right? Yeah. He's talking in my ear right now and uh, a big part of uh, JTV and all we yeah. do. So I think that if I, if I have it correct, this is his fifth season. Amazing. So. Wow. Uh, and how old yeah. is he? Uh, just turned 18. 18. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's awesome. You can't yeah. say the kid doesn't have work out yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, before we get into it, I, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys have talked about, this is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. Yes. So um, I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to my dad and Mama P. Oh, yeah. Yes, for sure. Um, but more importantly, Mama P recently had her own battle. Mm. Uh, but great job. Yeah. So proud of, you know, her... Uh, Tenacity, yeah, right? Sure. Uh, the pain she went through, uh, the hard work, but she mm -hmm. came through on the other side, and uh, God bless her, and God bless everything. You know what I mean? We, yeah, we've been blessed, nice. and she is uh, good. That's great. Right? Yeah, we saw Mama so, P at uh, Dave's uh, graduation yeah. party, and she said, uh, "I'm here, but tomorrow I've got a, uh, I have a seven o'clock appointment mm -hmm. in the morning to go to That's right. therapy." Yeah, you got to have that great attitude. Too. Yeah. Oh. That's one thing you learn, right? So yeah, Ooh. we can talk about insurance, yeah. we can talk about all that stuff, but yeah. uh, great work, so proud, yeah. and so, so blessed. That's so awesome. Just wanted to say th hi and thank you and good job and all that good stuff. And, so. and we join in the, in the well wishes. Yeah. yeah, and actually, in fact, she doesn't realize this, so next week I'll be in Boston uh, for some work and uh, have the honor of attending uh, what they call the Pink Ball. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's a very large fundraising event for uh, cancer and specifically breast cancer. So my donation will be on behalf of Mama P. Very nice. Um, and uh, it's Tuesday in Boston, uh, the pink cool. ball, and, and the, all, the, all the money goes to the Dana-Farber uh, Dana okay. Research Institute. Awesome. And uh, uh, yeah, quite, a, quite an event. We, we raised uh, over $200,000 in wow. one evening last year. That's wow. amazing. Of so, course. So yeah, my, yeah. My, uh, my giving will be on behalf of Mama P. Awesome. Awesome. Bring us some pictures. Send us some pictures. Yeah, please. I will. Yeah. I will. So, uh, insurance, that's your career, mm -hmm. and you're the president of Insurance Circle Agency, and, and people might not have heard, heard of that. What, right. is, what is that? Right. So, so I want, we're a small uh, boutique mm -hmm. agency, is what we like to say, right? Yeah. Uh, our tagline is, we'll know your name, um, and, and we like it that way. Uh, so, not to, not to digress too much, but... We're, we're, we're part of a larger organization, mm -hmm. right? So, so we're a small, nimble, uh, locally run agency. We started, uh, it started five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we purchased the agency a year ago from Susan Baker. Susan, uh, who I'd love to have on the show sometime, uh, runs our personal lines division for us mm -hmm. and is the manager. And she is housed at our main location in Battle Creek. Um, I uh, run mainly our commercial division and focus on business insurance, okay. and that's been my uh, uh, history uh, here in the community and yeah. whatnot. And then recently, we just expanded and hired another person in Shelby Township. Oh, wow. Um, so we're, we're a small agency. We'll definitely know your name. Uh, take a different approach to the business. Um, not that uh, uh, being part of a larger agency uh, but we're the complete, it isn't necessarily good, but we're, we're the complete opposite of buying online. Yeah. Um, you know, specifically when I'm meeting with a business owner, I really, truly want to take the time and understand their business mm -hmm. and really explain all of the potential exposures that are out there, yeah. right, that they could potentially buy insurance to cover and then let them make the buying decision. 
When you work with a, a business, um, you know, you're not just selling them insurance and then catching up with them. You you actually, you you make yourself a part of that business. Absolutely, yeah. In, in fact, myself, you know, having been doing this now mm -hmm. 24 years, uh, my, my running joke is I started when I was 10. Uh, <laughs> just like your son. 20, yeah. 20, yeah, yeah. 24 years is no. If, if, if the business owner isn't going to be committed to me and want a relationship yeah. like that, it's probably not the right fit, mm -hmm. right? Price isn't everything. Right. While price is important, right? It's rather protecting their assets, building a custom package. And fortunately, I've uh, had the pleasure of working on you know, small mm -hmm. uh, businesses, but, but I also uh, currently and have in the past worked with multi-million dollar yeah. businesses with multi-state operations. And, and it is, that's the difference is becoming yeah. a part of their for ecosystem, sure. right? Sure. I love it when a client calls me and says, hey, I want to run something past you. That, that makes yeah. me feel mm -hmm. like I am part of it, yeah. right? Like their attorney or like their accountant or like mm -hmm. an advisor. Uh, so very different yeah. approach. As, uh, let me ask you, uh, you, obviously this has been going on a long time, but these cyber attacks, yes. I'm seeing um, banks, casinos, small businesses, schools, schools, mm -hmm. uh, homeowners, I mean, yes. everybody. Um, that's got to be something that's on your mind. It's huge. Cyber liability has been happening. Cyber liability insurance, the market is actually settling back down okay. and becoming much more affordable. When it came out of the gate, uh, everybody could get it easily. Okay. And then of course, as the market started paying claims, right? Yeah. Pre premiums <laughs> go up and underwriting goes up, uh, underwriting requirements, I should say. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of coming back down because a lot of businesses are uh, implementing multi-factor authentication, right? Uh, certain IT restrictions. Right. Um, I'd, I'd say the number one exposure that we see and the number one claim is phishing attacks. Really? Right? Yeah. Where an individual is sitting there reading their email Click and they get a what they believe is an email from BART saying, hey, mm -hmm. transfer X amount of dollars into this, things like that, the yeah. phishing. It's not so much where they're hacking into the bank right. account or hacking into the system as much as phishing right. and getting the employees yeah. engaged uh, and then losing that Until they catch the big one. Well, you think you're out of luck if that happens to you, but you can be insured against yeah, absolutely. that. Absolutely, you definitely can be yes. insured against yes. that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a, it's amazing that if you if you truly have the right <clears throat> agent advisor uh, that understands your business, I mean, they're they you can nearly be insured for anything mm -hmm. that you want to be. Right. Right. For example, um, I have insured uh, manufacturers where they are dependent on a supplier. Right, we can actually mm. insure them if the supplier goes out of business, so that they don't lose any income. That's amazing. Wow. Right. Uh, another example, yeah. kind of outside of the box, is where uh, we have a very, very large uh, logistics company uh, that has a very large accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. We can actually insure their accounts receivable. Yeah. You can insure your accounts receivable. Um, so, so there's there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, we appreciate uh, all the uh, updates and all the uh, guidance you provided us. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming in today. My yeah. pleasure. Good to see you, Dave. Yeah, nice to see you. Insurance Circle Agency President Dave Rice. We wrap up the morning show after this.